All right, so we're here in China to check out the facility where we get all of our mushroom extracts. I'm really excited about this because it's something we've been working with for a while now. We've done a lot of third-party testing on these extracts. I've tasted a lot of them. They are amazing and high quality, certified organic. So we just want to check out this facility. It's a GMP facility where they do some of the top mushroom extracts, have a laboratory in-house, have all of their testing and all of their production here. So this is really exciting for me. Come with me and have a look and see what we can find at this facility. All right, so we're just here in the showroom to look at some of the kind of raw materials and the different types of mushrooms that they produce here. We are here in the raw material room uh, where they use a lot of the raw mushrooms. Some of the base pucks that are going to be ground into the powders. Over here you can see all the cordyceps from the cordyceps farm. A whole batch ready to go for making a cordyceps militaris concentrated extract. So these are all the Felinus mezuma mushroom. So this is all lion's mane powder that is going to be turned into a lion's mane concentrated extract. These are condensers here for when they do an alcohol extraction of a herb that has high triterpene content in it, things like reishi and chaga. All of this room has UV lights and air filters within it. All right, so this is a large grinder, a Fitz mill, that essentially is to take raw material and grind it down to those small pieces that we would use to put into the decoction. It's probably one of the nicest grinders I've ever seen. So we're gonna get our clean gear on to go into the clean room now. We're ready. This is a good one. Here is for the concentration. Wow. From what we saw upstairs, it comes down through this tube into here and this is where it turns into a decoction where they cook it down to extract the water soluble compounds. From here it goes through these pipes into a storage tank down here and then from there it goes over to the concentrating tanks which are the kind of dehydrating concentrating tanks that bring it down to a more concentrated liquid. From there it pumps off into another room where it goes into a spray dryer. All right, so we're going to see Reishi spray dry. As you can see, got a whole other little layer of protective gear. Are you ready? Hey. This is a spray dryer. You can see that it's coming out slowly through here. All right. This is the dual extracted powder, the concentrated extract. You can see right here, any impurities, any larger material is then filtered out. You get a perfect mesh count. This goes into the certificate of analysis, and this is how they go about making sure that they got a perfectly consistent powder. So we're here in the lab where all the quality control is done. This is where all the different types of tests are done to make sure that the product meets the highest standards possible. This is quite an expensive part of the facility. In fact, it's probably the most expensive part, and really it's because we want to make sure that the due diligence is done. So here there are three different types of tests that are done. The first one is more of an organoleptic testing where they do taste, odor, smell, density, 
fineness of powder and they test that part. The second one is where they test the different types of ingredients and chemical constituents that are in it. So whether it's the cordycepine in the cordyceps, the androzine, whether it's the terpene content in the reishi, the beta-glucans, doesn't matter what it is, essentially looking at the polyphenols and all the different kinds of chemical compounds that make up active ingredients and non-active ingredients. And the third type of test is a microbiological test, where they're looking for E. coli, Staphylococcus, many different types of bacteria, and fungi. Now, these tests make up the majority of the due diligence to make sure that every product that comes out of this facility is of the highest standard. This comes along with a certificate of analysis, a C of A as it's called in the industry, and each one of the lines on that are something that is done and calculated and measured here in this lab. This is quite a sophisticated, uh, almost like a nutritional fact for a raw ingredient. And we've done some third party testing and found that these are continually consistent, knowing that we have a very good faith that this is quite a high quality facility. And it's just really cool for me to come in and see all of this lab gear and all of this testing done. They really are doing a deep level of quality control on the products coming out of this facility. Thanks for joining us in checking out this video tour of the facility where our mushrooms are extracted. This was a really cool experience for me to see how these are done. I've been working with these and loving these mushrooms for a long time. Now there is a lot of differences between different brands. Some are powder, some are concentrated extracts, some are not tested, some are added with all kinds of fillers in them. We wanted to show you with a bit of transparency how ours are done, where they're done, and why we choose working with these mushrooms at Harmonic Arts.